Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. 378 Lithography Machines This is the number of lithography machines delivered by a Chinese chip equipment company in just seven months. While the Dutch were still dreaming of dominating the Chinese market with DUV lithography machines, a Shenzhen company, founded only 16 months ago, quietly shipped the first domestically produced high-precision stepper lithography machine. On September 23rd, Shenzhen Wending Jushin Technology Company, Limited, hereinafter referred to as Wending Jushin, announced that its first domestically produced high-precision stepper lithography machine had successfully shipped. Surprisingly, this company is not a state-owned enterprise, but a private enterprise with only 37 employees. Wending Jushin, this name is still relatively unfamiliar in the semiconductor industry. With 37 employees, a 2,000-square-meter factory, and 1.19 million yuan in registered capital, standard for small and micro-enterprises in any industry. Yet, this small workshop company has managed to produce a stepper lithography machine with a resolution of 0.35 microns. You might say, what's 0.35 microns? ASML has already achieved several nanometers. The problem is, nearly 90% of the world's chips don't require cutting-edge processes like 7 nanometers or 5 nanometers. Automotive chips, IoT chips, and power devices the cornerstones of modern industry, precisely require mature process technologies. Previously, N.I. Guangnan, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, stated, China doesn't need to blindly pursue Western 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers processes. Instead, it should prioritize mastering mature processes like 14 nanometers and then address advanced chip challenges through independent innovation. The implication is that, for the domestic market at this stage, prioritizing independent development of processes above 14 nanometers is far more important than blindly catching up with Western 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers chip processes. Wending Jushin is targeting this blue ocean overlooked by the giants. This company, founded in May 2023, will ship its first device in September 2025. Even industry insiders have called it outrageous. It's worth noting that Shanghai Microelectronics took 20 years to achieve stable mass production of 90 nanometers lithography machines. It took ASML of the Netherlands a full 17 years from its inception to its first commercial machine. Product information released on the official video channel of Wending Polycore shows that this stepper lithography machine belongs to its WS-180i series. Specific specifications show that the WS-180i series covers wafers from 2 to 8 inches, with a process accuracy of 1.5 micrometers to 0.35 micrometers. You might ask, what's behind Wending Polycore's rapid growth? The answer lies in the team, 85% of whom hold graduate degrees. These individuals are not industry novices, but rather come from Fortune 500 companies and top research institutes. In other words, they are a special forces unit, purpose-built for technological breakthroughs. If Wending Polycore is a straight punch, then Puluan Technology and Zhejiang University are left and right hooks. Puluan specializes in nanoimprint lithography, a path Canon of Japan has taken for 10 years. What was the result? The Chinese immediately achieved line widths below 10 nanometers, leaving Canon far behind. Zhejiang University's Shiji electron beam lithography machine is even more impressive. A precision of 0.6 nanometers might sound like fantasy, but the Chinese research and development team has actually achieved results. Although electron beam lithography is inefficient and currently unavailable for mass production, it is a powerful tool for scientific research and design of cutting-edge technologies like quantum chips. We are pursuing one technical route, one for nanoimprinting, and one for electron beam, 
while also pursuing traditional lithography. A three-pronged approach is always better than a single one, allowing us to achieve breakthroughs in advanced process technology. In the past, China couldn't buy high-end lithography machines, not even used ones. So, desperate, what could they do? They could only develop their own technology. In the past, China always wanted to catch up, hoping to achieve EUV in one leap. Now, domestic companies and research institutes understand that food must be eaten one bite at a time and the road must be taken one step at a time. First, we must determine whether we have it, then whether it works. Although Wending Jushin's WS180i series can only achieve 0.35 microns, it's perfectly adequate for LEDs and power devices. With an annual production of 20 units, revenue of 140 million yuan and a net profit of 44.8 million yuan, the calculations are clear and precise, no ambition, no perfection, but survival first. This pragmatism is precisely the most formidable aspect of China's manufacturing industry. Remember the photovoltaic industry back then? The Germans invented the technology, and China brought down costs by 90%. Remember new energy vehicles? Tesla pioneered it, and BYD lowered prices to under 100,000 yuan. Looking back from the perspective of 2025, the story of China's breakthrough in lithography technology is a living history of industrial breakthroughs. Back then, China couldn't produce ballpoint pen refills, but now it can independently manufacture rocket engines. Back then, China couldn't produce automobile engines, but now it leads the world in new energy vehicle sales. ASML probably didn't expect that their technological blockade would actually inspire the Chinese people to fight. China now has 193 nanometers dry DUV technology. Immersion DUV is said to be approaching. Electron beam and nanoimprint lithography are also on the way. This isn't just a battle fought by one company, but the entire industry chain. It's no wonder that some foreign media have commented that mainland China's technological breakthrough in lithography equipment is incredibly rapid. It seems we've reached a critical mass. While ASML's technology is cutting edge, facing the constant stream of Chinese solutions, it may be difficult for it to maintain a long-term industry monopoly. This is also why, when the US implemented controls on Chinese semiconductor equipment, ASML repeatedly stated that such controls would be counterproductive, forcing Chinese companies to accelerate their technological innovation. They clearly understand that if China achieves a breakthrough in semiconductor technology, ASML might be completely wiped out in this field. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to leave a comment and discuss.